Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be making the bevel grinder. Now, what is a bevel grinder? Well, you may have not seen it before or you may have seen it before, but basically it's two 2x72 two grinders, uh, both with large diameter wheels, and they're very close to each other. And what happens is because the two wheels are rotating uh, opposite direction, you could put a knife blank in between the two and they're very close together and create that bevel on the knife at the same time. So this would really speed up the process if you're trying to get into more production um, of knife making, now, which I want to do. Now I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, CAD drawings because it's uh, very complex the way the uh, the framework is because it's basically two grinders in one that have to be able to move away and towards each other uh, depending on the type of bevel you want to make. So let's get into the drawings and the CAD file and um, let's start this project. Okay, so here's a little drawing of what I'm thinking of making. Now, if you haven't seen it before, it basically uses two giant wheels that are close to get together that are basically going to grind the bevel for you somewhere in here. And now I'll show you a closer look. So now if I zoom up to here, you can actually see where the wheels are and how close they are. Now this is inside here is the representation of say your knife. This is about uh, inch and a half and about say just under 150 thou width. And you can see by having those two wheels that close together, you can grind a bevel on both sides at the same time um, very easily and that's why I'm making this um, this type of grinder because I want to kind of ramp up how I produce uh, knives. Let me zoom out here and these wheels have to be pretty big. The bigger the wheel is the more of a of a bevel or a longer bevel you can get out of it and I want to have the ability to move these wheels closer or further apart. Now if I check the diameter, the diameter of these wheels are about 12 inches. So I'll show you the 3D part of this. I'm just going to open up a level here. And now you can see that's the wheels I want to make. They're going to be a 12 inch wheel, two of them with the shaft for the motor. The motors are going to go here and on top, I'm going to use this as my basically idler and the, uh, I guess the tensioning uh, wheel. So this is going to be a four inch wheel I'm going to make on either side. And it's going to basically be the, it's going to have a frame, but the motors are going to have its own frame because I need to be able to move them in and out of each other, but also have this belt or the uh, 2x72 grinding belt on here tensioned all the time as I, I'm able to move it in and out. So there's a little bit of um, difficulty in the framework. Um, and I'm going to sort that out as I go. But right now I want to focus on making these wheels because they're so big. I want to cast them. So I'm going to have to make a, a match plate or a pattern so I can cast them out of aluminum. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make these into SDL files and print them on my printer. And then I could start getting into how I'm going to cast them. Hmm? 
So I have my prints and now I'm gonna coat them with an epoxy. I'm just gonna give it a painting over the whole surface, except for the back. And this should make it um, a little smoother. And I'll do a couple of coats just to get a good coat, a uh, good surface on it. So it's been about a week's work just getting these patterns ready uh, to get to put onto a plate and if you look at it it took about about three days just to print them off and you can see I had to split it um, there's one half and this has a taper on it and the opposite side so I'm gonna have not a seam but it's gonna be basically parted in the middle right here but when I cast it it's going to be one piece so one giant wheel 12 inch diameter and about two inches on the width now after I printed them I had to let the epoxy that I coated it with dry so that took another couple of days in itself so now I'm ready to take these I'm going to mount them to a match plate. I have to put some runners and some, some venting so I can cast it properly. Now that's going to be on the next video, the casting of these giant wheels, and then we're going to get them ready for machining. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions on the process, just ask them in the, in the comments below, or you can reach out to me at bonifabcustom at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and push that button for notifications for the next videos on the bevel grinder.